novel is set in Newark, New Jersey during a polio epidemic in the summer of 1944. As he did in The Plot Against America, Roth challenged himself to write an alternate history. What I w wanted to see is what would it have been like? Could I imagine what it would have been like had the thing we all feared happened? Bucky Cantor is a 23-year-old PE teacher ineligible for combat in World War II. The author illustrates the young man's physical appearance and character with Rothian lush, careful prose. Take a listen. And yet at 23, he was to all of us boys the most exemplary and revered authority we knew. A young man of convictions, easygoing, kind, fair-minded, thoughtful, stable, gentle, soft-spoken, vigorous, muscular, a comrade and leader both. Bucky does his best as a youth leader to cope with the scapegoating, ethnic tensions, and terror that come with the spreading epidemic. It doesn't go well. Bucky struggles with both a seemingly capricious epidemic and a god who would allow it. Warning, spoilers. Bucky has a girlfriend who works at Indian Hill, a summer camp in the Poconos that is supposedly polio free. With quite a bit of guilt, Bucky agrees to leave the neighborhood children and join her. But then polio hits Indian Hill too, with several victims, including Bucky himself. At the end of the novel, we find that polio crippled Cantor emotionally as well as physically. He never married and lived the rest of his life largely alone. At a brisk 280 pages, Nemesis is compact and sort of sweet, despite the morbid material. One question I have is why the protagonist is named Cantor. Roth virtually always chose evocative names from Neil Klugman, the librarian in Goodbye Columbus, Klug means smart, to Coleman Silk, the African-American college professor passing as white in The Human Stain. He's a coal man deep inside. But why Cantor, a synagogue name? After all, Bucky rejected his Jewish faith. Here are three possibilities. One, maybe he's using a word that sounds like candor because he's determined to be honest with himself and with Marcia about his disease, so candid he surrenders. Two, Roth could be using a homophone for the equestrian term canter, which is between a trot and a gallop. Unable to fight in the actual war, Bucky struggles to keep up. Finally, and this is my favorite, Bowlers are people who bowl, and gamblers are people who gamble. Therefore, what's a canter? A canter is someone who can't. Bucky can't, or rather won't.